Hey everyone, I'm Thomas Sister 4 here, and today we're going to continue on some more Crash Bash from the Sony PlayStation. Now, we're here on the fourth warp room for its gold relics, and there's a lot to go through. So, we got Sky Falls, Manic Panic, Poco Padlock, Drain Bash, Jungle Fox, Toxic Dash, Ring Ding, all set seven of these in one go. So, let's do it. Now this part I expect to be at least an hour, not even because of Skyballs, just because in general, there's like a lot of freaking games to go through twice in a row, but I'm sure we'll manage. Like I said, I did cut down the loading times on this, so it won't be too bad. I'm not cutting off that one, but you know what would be funny? It'd be funny if instead of gold relics, instead of like doing this, for the Platinum Relic, they make it so you have to do the Crystal Challenge twice in a row, instead of having to do the normal one three times. I feel like that would have been a lot more impact, have a lot more impact on the difficulty then. At least that's what I initially thought, but then I remember Skyballs, and I was like, you know what? May maybe we can go without that one. I'm not the king of ideas. Wait, oh. Anyway, like, I'm not exactly the greatest at having good ideas here, so... Keep that in mind if I ever just spout something out. But that's alright, because a good idea I do actually have is finding a way to get into Smash again. Thankfully, the with the use of Smash Discord servers, not the general ones, the general ones are practically dead. But uh for like people who like have like a specific matchmaking stuff, like you know, stuff like that. Something where it's just geared towards playing the game. Something where I could just try to learn to improve on my own time as opposed to trying to find a time to do it. What? How's that hit me? Is it because? No, it can't be because he was near it. It's not like it's an explosive crate. Yeah, what the heck is that? I've never seen that before. Like, is it because he's spinning? Oh yeah, I'm also going to be limiting the amount of retries I do on this stuff too, because, uh, I, like I said before, the main goal of this is to get through this, not necessarily as quickly as possible, but through some, uh, with some ease. I don't want to make these videos too long or anything like that, so, come on. I gotta remember, those missiles can actually stop me from, uh, getting more tiles too, so, gotta be real careful about those now. Ah, oh, or rather, they change into a different color. Okay, where's the crate? Ah, oh, yeah, that one's gone already. Ah, oh, you would put shoes right there. Oh my god. Oh, that's alright. Give me that. Oh, come on, hurry, 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 hurry. No, the shoes. Oh my gosh. Where's a lock? Where is a lock? No! Oh my gosh, she got all that. I'm tired. No, well, she got it, but she wasted it. But that that's what makes it worse. The fact she didn't even get a score off of that. I'm not making that back. They're all in the 60s, and I'm still in the 40s. That's something I'm not going to be used to saying when I get older. Oh my god, this one's gonna take a while. But yeah, I'm a, like I said, I'm gonna limit the retries to about three. Just because there's double the opportunities I can fail these mini games. So like, if I fail this for example, I'm gonna put that down to just, oh frick, yeah. So just like three attempts here so I could just get to the point where I win both games. I will show off the the end result for both games as opposed to just one because god dang it because uh you know simply because the game works differently here it'll be the same for the platinum like when i go for getting three games so yeah all that stuff aside uh how is y'all saturdays god dang it yeah now i really have to be careful with these missiles the shoes will only do so much here again. Like, if they're ready to aim at me, it's like I have to get the shoes and the locks. Especially the locks. 
Because like if I get hit with a missile, they can't take the uh, tiles without the lock on. Unless it just goes off by like frames. God dang it. Where's the box? Where's the box? Oh, here we go. At least let me secure the, uh, the ones I have. What? Oh, that's... Oh, wait, no, I forgot. If I get hit, I lose the lock anyway. Oh, my God. No! <laughs> All right. That's another restart. You fail. But, uh, all that aside, it's gonna be so freaking crazy that I'm really gonna be seeing... Uh, now I'm gonna be seeing some more... Come on, hurry! Oh my gosh, she really took all my tiles like that. Shoes! Don't get aimed, don't get aimed at. <gasps> yes! Oh, that's beautiful! Alright, let's go. Uh, crate, crate, crate. Come on, crate. Ooh, that was a nice shot. No! Uh, the only technical advantage you can get off of getting hit with a missile is if you line yourself up right to one of your own tiles, or one of their soon-to-be tiles off. So when by the time they hit you with the missile and they get off, they're forced to hit the tile and they have to lose all that score. Ah, a vengeful tactic, I guess you could say. Oh my god. No, move! Come on! I wasn't hitting anyone with that. Dang it! Oh my god, no! I really don't want to restart again, but I might have to. Oh my god, come on, hurry up! No, that's it. I can't reach over there. You win. <gasps> okay. That one took a little longer than I thought, but that is the last of the Pogo Pandemonium level, so I expect nothing less of a challenge. But on to the next one. Alright, here we go. But yeah, like... Wait, these are these could be good again, actually. Not as good as the bombs, but... If you don't back off, wait. Can't have it, no one can't. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Push them off. Really? Why is this pushing strength better as this, as opposed to freaking... Oh god, it's got a bomb and everything. Ah! Yeah, this pushing strength got better. But at least I got the bomb, so this should be a lot easier, too. But anyway. Uh. Like, I'm kind of glad that we actually do have something on, on the run now. Where, like, there's actually been some talks about, uh. Like, people pushing into, like, the beta program if you have Apple devices. I can't say I'm too. I can't even say I'm too mad about it because I could still play the alpha version right now if I re download the game. Uh, is no one gonna get that? Okay. Die. Oh, and I get- Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh, no. 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 No! <laughs> I put myself in the freaking corner. I had no pushing ability left. Uh, no. Take that elsewhere. Wait a minute! Wait! Ugh. That's what you meant. That's why you missed. That's why you're small. Get over here. 
Oh my god, get over there. Uh huh. Nope. Nope. Uh uh. Nope. No. Don't don't hit her when she's in this state, cause she I think she loses her power down too if she gets hit. I wasn't paying attention when they got the lightning, so I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, back on on the run. I'm kind of glad. That, wait, why is he facing all the way up here? Anyway, uh, I'm kind of glad that we got uh some freaking news about what's going on with on the run. It seems like they're going for like a beta program for uh, iOS users, which makes sense since the game never uh since the alpha version of the game never came to that. Well. Better off than freaking on someone else. And like, you could still have access to the alpha version right now if I wish. So, there's always that. But I'm wondering what the beta covers, because it's obviously a higher, like a higher polished version of the game. Oh, frick, frick. Are you serious? Oh my God. Oh. Why does she have more push power than me when I'm on polar? I don't get this. Why does she have more push power? Oh my god. Like if we at least see some more levels on the game. Like if we at least see some more stuff on the beta version, it's it's a closed beta, so I don't expect them to have any have the ability to really post anything. So don't hold your breath if you really want to see something uh, different with the game. If you have to play, if you have the uh, luxury of playing the uh, alpha version of the game, like I did. Frick, I'm probably dead. Yeah, crash that full health. That's it. You fail. They were all practically at full health. What the heck was I supposed to do there? Like, look at this. They're already getting. Uh, back to the gang now. Relax. Well, that tiny's almost dead. Die. What? What even hit me there? Oh god. I think by now the tiki's will start moving. So, uh, want to be? Don't want to be too close to those. But don't worry. They'll chase after you if you're uh, if they're far enough. Okay. Okay. Come on. And you know what's funny? I'm not sure if this is actually happening or not, but with Jungle Fox, I'm starting to feel like the rotating on the turret here is actually a lot better on this. Or maybe it's just, like, look at this. Maybe it's because I'm not stuck on that, uh, on that on rails again with, like, the first two Fox levels, but... I don't even know why I call it Fox levels. It's just tank. Ah, wait, missiles. I forgot there were missiles in this freaking mode. Oh no. All right, he ran, he ran out. All right. Woo, look at me dodging. Too smooth. Mm. That was a really good Tiki right there. Let's freaking go. But yeah. With that, with those two games out the way, I just want to know what new, other new stuff we could be seeing. Like, oh, sorry if you heard that. That's my phone. Uh, I'm curious to know what they'll do for Spiral, cause like, it's very obvious what they're doing with Crash now, but uh, I wanna know what they're gonna be doing for my boy Spiral. Probably like within 2021, we'll probably see something or maybe even like early 2022 because of all that's been going on. But whatever the case is, I, I'm really kind of excited to see what they'll do with our boy Spiral as well. With all that's been going, yo, dingo. With all that's been transpiring, I, I can't imagine it being anything less than at least good. At least a good, at least a good freaking game. Really? Oh, I forgot they have freaking barriers on here now, so now we have to worry about that crap too. At least dingo's a whole lap behind, so him being ahead isn't that isn't that much of a isn't much of a fear factor. I guess and the cool part is these barrels don't respawn, so once you hit those, that's it. Wait, what the? So once you hit those, they're out the game. Yo, look at this. This one's way, this one's going way easier than Dot Dash. What the heck? And it's literally all because of the barrier. Wait, I'm, I'm getting pushed again. 
but let's not let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Here. We still have a whole. We still gotta actually win this sucker here. All right, nice try. <laughs> He's still collecting lump of fruit. That's funny, but yeah. This one's going way easier just because of the barrel. So if they go first, they get hit by all this shenanigans. And all I got to do is just play out the rest of it. No! Oh my gosh. No! This is what I get for taunting. Now I'm, now I'm behind. Two whole laps behind. Ain't that some ish right there. And while they can screw up, it's not very often they will with the barrels. Look at that, Cola Kong's just having a freaking time of his life now. Now, now they're starting to play serious. Yo, push him off. Yes, 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 yes. This is a chance. Come on, slime, slime, slime. No! Oh my god, it's over. Again. He's not falling off either, god dang it. Okay, okay, okay. Knock him off, knock him off. Do something! No! It, it don't matter, it's too late, it's too late. God freaking dang it. Alright, next attack. It's still easier though, because like, all I have to do is just let them go first. I really did that. I really did that. I really went the other way immediately. And yeah. Seriously, what is up with that? Like, it's so easy to go in reverse in this one. Okay, I'm not too far behind. Woo! All right, I'm ahead now. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this. Even the wow, I really got blown back that hard. All right, bro. Oh my god. <sighs> oh my gosh. No, no, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. I like how the attempt after that one where I said I got editing is the one that goes well. But it's alright, because like, my general tip for this one is just... Well, I'll, I'll talk about it in the next part. Like, the next level. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I ended up going into the freaking, uh... Trophy channel that's supposed to crystal into like, gold relic. But anyway, uh... For Toxic Dash, my general tip is just to stay behind until a CPU hits the inner the, the barrel that goes inward. Then pretty much proceed as normal where all you do is just freaking, uh, or all you do is just turn inward and only tap the right button. Only tap the right button on the directional pad. Or stick, whichever you're using. Only tap it. This one is pretty much more the same strategy as uh the actual trophy challenge. Just go for the black balloon to change all the colors, then go for the vacuum to hit all the points at once. Yo, yes, look at this. They can't do anything about that. Oh, and they're too focused on trying to kick me. Look at that. <laughs> too smooth. Let's go. We have a huge advantage right now. Oh, god dang it. Nope. Yeah, like, I'm still fucking some really lucky ones where I'm getting nothing but of the same color. Now if I get a vacuum on this one. Frick. Oh well, this one's pretty good, because I'm not affected by rotation like everyone else. Look at this! They're all just going to spin at me. Even when I already get hit. Bruh. This game's over. But yeah, uh... That's my general strategy for Toxic Dash. For this one, it's just the same thing. Uh, I'm not sure if this is placebo or not, but is it me or is it the freaking is the clock spinning a little faster? 
Like it pro it's probably just a placebo effect. I haven't been on this one for a while since the uh, crystal challenge, and I think the crystal challenge actually slows it down. All right, let me just get this real quick. Yep. Yeah. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, she got the vacuum too. God dang it. That was a waste. God dang it. No. Vacuum? Of course not. I'm getting shoes. The one time I actually don't want constant shoes. Coco, stop it. Look at this. They're going at me just to kick me. Bruh. They're acting like the police in freaking Simpsons Hidden Run. Like, the second they see you with a power up, they're on you. It's all sight. Look at this. All right. Can I please at least get a freaking vacuum, though? If they're going to aim at me, give me at least a really good one to use. So far, I've only gotten, uh... Of course, Crash gets it, and it's a waste because it's still my balloons. Oh, crap. I gotta get... I actually gotta get these. Come on. Give me a vacuum. Get me a vacuum, please. Ah, oh, frick. Just, just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Don't, don't, don't tie. Don't tie. Don't tie. There we go. Whew. Might get through this one a lot faster than I thought. Uh... Yeah, because, like, all I'm missing now is just sky balls. Yeah, 20 again? I might need to cut this retry down to two just because of how long this will be. We're doing 20, but we're really doing 20 again. Yes, I know I did 20 on another uh, ballistics level. I think it was embolism, but... But that won't change the fact that here it's especially back. Like they're, so, they're doing so much better in this game. Not perfect, but way better. It feels perfect when we have a problem. Oh my gosh. I'm not, I'm not really going to be talking too much on this one because, like, the fact that there's so many I have to cut through on this one is really going to gonna drain me if I have to keep doing retries on this. So, I'm going to try to preserve my energy here. Oh, my God. I'm already down to less than 10, and Tiny and Cortex are sitting well above the 10s. Or at least just Tiny now. And now no one, but Koala Kong's almost dead, and I'll be next if I don't... What? Oh my god, that was lame. That... Come on, cut down Tinies, Tinies. Cut down the Engineer Tinies, not freaking Cortex. I mean, cut his down too, but, like, especially cut down freaking Tinies. Come on, come on, switch over to Tiny. Tiny, Tiny. Tiny, how many on the backside? No! Come on, please, just one. Just one. I need just one. Yes. Ah. Oh, okay, okay. We're almost done. We're almost done. And it's about almost 40 minutes on this stuff, too. Just like I predicted. Three, two, one, just need to get through this, and we'll make it quick. Oh, my God. Right up. Right, right at the jump. At least there was no ball, to, bruh. See what happens when you're trying to do this movement. Can't even block a ball. And I can't talk because I was just in that position not too long ago. Yeah. I am, I am a down with this though. If they're gonna be moving like this early on in the game and it just come on. Oh, that's hard. Like anyway, uh. Like, moving like this early in the game, and they end up getting free shots on Because, like I said, uh, on the last part, if, if you're boosting, there's slightly more, uh, 
there's like, like more frames it takes for you to actually turn around even two-dimensionally than it would if you just did it normally so sticking in the middle here would actually be better would actually help with that so you have enough time to react to this stuff because on top of a failing engine which is completely random by the way like rarely does it ever happen but there are times where the same engine can fail twice in a row Oh my god. Oh no, 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 come on. Oh my god, Cortex still has nine? Oh my god, no. Come on, I was doing so well too. Not like this. No! Uh, Alright. Nah. One more attempt. This is my last attempt on this one. Then I'm just gonna get straight to it, cause like it's not like my thing is like it's not even that bad of uh, something to do. It's just like two of knocking down 60 goals total, 60 goals total, 120 goals to get the gold relic. Essentially, I know it's not as bad as with the freaking uh, trophy where you have to get 180, but like. Even there wasn't, the CP wasn't as hard as in my opinion, so back then it was just as simple as just like making sure you don't lose too many balls on your side. Here it's just like, you have to beat them. There's no time limit, but you do have to beat them. Imagine, you know how screwed up that would be if they put a time limit on these ballistic levels? These levels can go on for like 10 minutes apiece. Whether you're playing with your friends or not, and you're playing like a whole set, this thing can go on for 10 minutes apiece. It doesn't matter which one you're playing. It can probably go on, it can, and the thing is, if people are evenly skilled and are good at the game, it could probably go on for even longer than that. Just the thought of that is just, is terrifying. Oh my god. Frick, I do have a general tip with this though, with Skyballs. Whenever there's a failing engine, obviously keep the same strategy, but lean a little bit towards that uh, failing side of things. Just a little bit, cause like, there are chances where it'll still go on the opposite side of where that engine is failing and uh, yep, keep taunting, let that ball go through you. Yep, 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 that's what you get claw Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, let me stop before I'm next. All right. <sighs> okay, one more. Again. And they really won't make this easy at all. So, let's get cooking. You know, now that I've actually seen Crash 4's Dingle Doll, because we did get to see, like, Altana, as mentioned before. It'd be so freaking sick. Excuse me. It'd be so freaking sick if we get to see Crash 4 variations of, of the other villains. Like I said, Rip Roo earlier, but, uh... Like, freaking Tiny. Like, how the heck would Tiny look in this freaking game? Like, Koala Kong, I have an idea how they'll look, but... Just a small idea, but... An idea how to look in Crash 4, but uh, for Tiny, I don't really have much of one because he's went through so many freaking changes over the games. Even in like the Insane era, he's went through a couple of changes from like his original variation. Like his eyes are not nearly as freaking huge as they are in this game. Like they are in this game and the original trilogy. Like look at those suckers, they're huge. Or maybe it's just the eyebrows I'm thinking of. Either way, they're freaking huge. And this uh, iteration of Insane isn't that big. Like, it's more so just fuzzy than really big, but you know. But then you have Koala Kong who... Oh my gosh. I wonder how they're going to make the freaking contrasting... Uh, 
body arc work for this character. Oh my gosh. I think I'll, I'm think I'm I'm pretty sure I'll find a way. I'm surprised I'm actually able to even talk with this while still this is still going on. I feel like I just said earlier that I needed to concentrate on this, and now look at that. This run, this run is going perfectly fine. All right, that, that's it. That's it. He's not blocking all that. Woo! All right, so now we're on the fifth and final warp room. Not for the final part, but we're on the fifth warp room. Cause we still need to get all the all the normal stuff out of those levels just so I can continue forward with the rest of the game. So let's get a quick peek. Actually, first let me save, and then we can get a uh, okay. And then we can get a quick peek at what we'll be looking at for the next part. And it's actually kind of good that we're actually going back into doing individual levels for a bit, because after this, uh, then it'll be nothing but relic runs with the rest of the game. So splash dash, look at that. I mean, it is literally all we've seen before, but like. We did drag and drop already, and we just gotta do the relic there. Mallet mash. Oh yeah, we're gonna get to that one next too. Oh yeah, we already did this one. Cat kaboom. We still need some egg, some eggs, some gems. I'm too. I'm still stuck on freaking fall guys. Uh, and then we gotta do all the trophies for these, which is just mostly splash dash, mallet mash, and then cat kaboom. But I think once we get splash dash done, we can unlock cat kaboom. But right now, in the next part, we're done with the relic races. For now and now we're here to go on a splash dash so this is our of war sign thank you guys for watching make sure to hit that subscribe and bell icon for more notifications on crash bash content as well as follow me on twitter for more information on crash bandicoot up until crash bandicoot it's about time the full release not the demo but until then when we do get the demo when we get to play that on the stream because you best believe i'm going to play that on the stream see ya